Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, investors are making a brave effort to look past the China economic risks. Equity markets have decided that the China virus emergency isn't going to affect them. Wall Street has made a sharp recovery today, with the S&P 500 up more than 1% in midday trade. That follows European markets was led up with that sort of rise earlier. Very strong transport equipment orders in the US saw the December durable goods order data rise sharply there, up 2.4%. But defence orders drove the result. Excluding defence orders, American durable goods orders actually fell 2.5% in December from a very weak November. And year on year, overall durable goods orders were down 3.7%. And the non-defence orders were down almost 7%. It's hard not to come to the conclusion that it's the Pentagon's buying that is holding all this data up. Worse, overall capital goods orders were down 10.7% in December from a year ago, and the non-defence component was down an eye-watering 18% year on year. American business investment is very weak. But American consumer sentiment is following Wall Street, or perhaps Wall Street is impressed by this data. Consumer confidence rose in January following a moderate advance in December driven primarily by a more positive assessment of the current jobs market and increased optimism about job prospects. However, manufacturers like 3M and Harley-Davidson are announcing retrenchments. But service industries like banks and tech firms are hiring. There was a rise in consumer sentiment that beat analysts' expectations. Meanwhile, the Chinese coronavirus is spreading, and most countries have put in place emergency restrictions on travellers from China. But news a Hong Kong University lab has developed a vaccine is encouraging, and the WHO now says there is actually no need to evacuate foreign nationals from Wuhan, even though many countries are reading plans to do just that. But the Chinese actions to deal with the crisis seem to be winning favour with investors. SARS and MERS both passed reasonably quickly, and those memories play a part here too. In Europe, The UK has decided to follow Germany's lead and allow Huawei to supply some key but non-critical components in their 5G networks. It seems likely New Zealand will follow too, leaving only the US and Australia applying a complete ban. In Australia, more evidence that businesses are facing a deteriorating situation. The final monthly business survey of 2019 provides further evidence that business conditions edge lower and confidence weakened, falling two points to minus two index points the lowest read since mid-2013. The 2020 China situation won't have improved things from there. US Treasury 10-year yield has recovered today up three basis points after yesterday's sharp drop, and it's now at 1.64%. Gold is down today on the improved risk mood, now at $1,569 an ounce, and that is $9 lower on a day. And US oil prices are up today, recovering about a dollar from the previous declines. Now, just under 53.50 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is up to just, just under 59.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar is still lower at 65.3 US cents. On the cross rates, we've dropped to 96.7 Australian cents, and against the euro, with little changed at 59.3 euro cents. The net of all these shifts leaves our trade weighted index at just on 70.8. And Bitcoin is still rising. Now at $8,974, and that's another daily rise of 2%. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.